There is a clinical case study that I'd like to share with you all today. The patient's name, we will call her Mary. Beginning in her freshman year at college, the patient made the first of several suicide attempts. We needed a different approach. I did something that I have never done. I stepped back from my usual methodology as her doctor, and I sat in that room with her as just another troubled human being, someone who had experienced trauma myself. I told her things that I had never told anyone else. I told her things that I had never told my wife. This is a gray area, sharing such personal information with the patient. I'm just concerned about your well-being as well as in your family. We're fine. We're fine. Philip <laughs> used to practice his therapeutic skills on the way home from hockey. How did you feel about the game, Evan? Doc, it's the police. We're still looking for a suicide note. Hey, what's going oh, on? Hey, hey, Daphne! Is this my sister? Is my sister! I know what you must be going through, and I'm very sorry. I think there's a curse on this family, but nobody to rage at. Nobody to blame but us. Did you abruptly and cruelly create the despair that led to her suicide? What do you think? My husband and I have a very different way of dealing with things. You're a lucky man. Family's all there is. And you have a great one. What about you, Lucy? She's still so young. The administration board wants you to step aside until this issue with your patient is fully investigated. How much longer are you going to live like this, Grace? The deepest hurt ever felt was when I try to do good, I'm ashamed for it. What is it with you and that man? Everything you ever told her about your life, the secrets that I used, she wrote it all down. What is wrong with you? I'm not your enemy, Dr. Clark. Stop the car. Lock him down. Lock him down! I still smell her. 